to another video now. You're probably looking at the title of this video and thinking, how on earth are you doing another room tour? How? You literally posted this video a month ago, and yes, I did, but this video was more about like rearranging my room and moving my bed around and all the shelves and putting in and stuff. But now I have finally finish my room. I literally spent the last week like changing my pictures, moving my frames around, changing all my shelves and making sure everything is what I want it to be. So the video I posted about a month ago was more like rearranging and getting stuff in the right space. This one is more of a personalised video. And with me filming that video about a month ago it means that in this video I can show you what I used to have it like and like cut back to that and edit it in and then I could uh, have what I have now. Also if you're looking at that little speck of black paint, DON'T! I know it's there, I know it's annoying, but yes, here we are, another room tour, this should be the final one, and I'm gonna go through it as quick as I can, showing you all the different things that I've changed. By the way, this is the most personalised I've had my bedroom forever. You know, we've still got Harry Potter stuff in there, but we've replaced some of the Harry Potter stuff with things that are me, we've got cursed stuff, we've got art, we've got different fandoms in there, so it's all good. Let's get into it, if you enjoy, give a big thumbs up, and let's get into the room. Jurassic Park. That's funny that is because I got a Jurassic Park top on. Get it? Nay. That's a horse, not a dinosaur. Roar. So, welcome. You're over there. So I'm probably gonna put you on the handheld camera because a lot of this is close up stuff and personalized stuff and not necessarily the layout of the room. Because I don't know if you can tell but the actual layout of the room is the same. We've still got the bed where it was in the last video and the TV and everything. The shelves are in the same place. But the stuff has changed. So let's put you on a handheld. You don't mind, do you? Do you mind me handling you? Are you okay with that? Blink twice if you're not okay. Yeah. Let's have ya. I'm so weird. Right, so I'm gonna try and make this a quick video and not go too much into it. So as you can tell, the wardrobe is exactly the same. Lord of the Rings, Chaos, and Death Eater. But we have got a little cute addition of some love heart lights because you know, you never know what a bit of love light will do, you know? It could spice it up a little bit. The potential's there. So nothing on the outside of the wardrobe has changed, but if we go in the inside, my love heart! If that's not symbolic, then I don't know what is. I give my heart to you, but you won't take it. Let me in! Let me in! Let me love you! Right, well that's an issue, but that's for another time. Inside the wardrobe, this yesterday was disgusting. We, like, I used to chuck so many things in there and be like, I'll deal that with another time. But now, if you look in there, it's all organised and loads of things I chucked out. So technically, it doesn't look different from the outside, but I know it's all clean in there. So if we look in there, look at the cleanliness of that. Woohoo! And actually, if we go above here, this used to be just so much stuff, but it's all organised boxes. So look at this organisation! Again, a thing that helps me, but you wouldn't really notice walking into my room um, because I'm in my room alone, so it only really helps me because I'm the only person in this room. Because I'm in this room alone, and I'm the only person that's in this room, so it only really helps me because I'm alone in this room. <laughs> I love how I look on this wardrobe door and all of these stickers are from when I was about four. Um, I've been in this room since I was one years old, so it's do be crazy. Oh, wait, you can't actually look over there because that's for later. Stop looking. You might have noticed when I smashed through the door earlier that this is a lot better. This is neat. We've got coats, hoodies, uh, comfy clothes and merch. So that's more organised. I can actually get through my door before. The amount of times I opened my door and I couldn't open it fully because I had so many clothes behind it. Um, that is over here now, the Slytherin one which used to be over there, but don't look over there, remember. Over here to the left of the wardrobe, we have moved these two uh, achievements of me going to the, the premieres up here and we moved like the other poster down there which I will probably put up here. Uh, but those two used to be over there in between the YouTube play button, which I'll show you right now. So that's what it used to look like. And now we have them over here. Over here we have got two, sh wait, three shelves worth of plushies. This is what we had last time, but it was less organized and actually took over way more shelves. But now we managed to fit them all on three shelves. And I've actually got 
a hat stand now, which is awesome. I didn't realize how many beanies and hats I actually owned, yet I still wear the same one all the time. I have attachment issues, okay? But that shelf wasn't enough for my hats, so I still got my hats in the little alien basket anyway. And obviously, still, this is all still the same. Pirate flag. Snape is still over here, and the Dementor is over here as well, so yeah this is this little corner over here if we go to the right of the wardrobe we have my drum set my guitar my skateboard and boom this is different you probably don't recognize it but it is different this stuff has stayed the same like the harry potter stuff and the noble collection these are all the same but the pictures have moved around they've moved around and they have changed and i like to point out that i actually did all this myself a lot of the time my dad helps me put up stuff on the wall because i'm a mess with it but i did it all by myself um, there is many many holes behind every single one of these pictures the amount of time I tried to line it up straight and I couldn't do it This wall could come down at any moment. So just thought I let you know that uh, But I did do it myself. So give me a thumbs up for that at least so over here We have got the Jack Sparrow poster We have got the death before decaf poster a little joker one and a picture of me and David Tennant here. I thought I lined this up very well, actually. Look at that straight line there. The amount of times I changed my ideas as well. Like, I moved that one over there, that was here, that was, like, honestly, 20 times I moved these pictures and it was ridiculous. So these are all the same. The Harry Potter stuff's the same. Masks have always been here. But I added this cheeky little Hellfire Club poster down here. This used to be over there. I cut it down and put it into a black frame. As you can tell, a lot of things are in black frames around here. And then we've got a Joker poster right there. And this was a painting that I pictured. Painting that I pictured. This was a painting that I painted and it's actually on sale on my Etsy, Bakey Makes, but please don't buy it because I actually kind of like it there now. If anyone does end up buying it, I would just replace it with another picture that I drew. So that is it and it actually works very nicely there. If we go along, we have got the Joker canvas, which took me and my mum actually helped me with this one because this was ridiculous. The amount of times I tried to line this up was insane. I didn't realise how many Joker things I've got in my room as well. I've got this Joker one, that Joker one, that Joker one over there, and we've also got a Joker one over there. But yeah, so we have this Joker canvas, which I really like. Above that, I fitted these two postcards in here because I thought that would fit lovely. And then I was like, actually, I should put a third one in there, which I did. Um, I painted that one myself as well. I had no spare postcards. So I was like, I'll just put that in there for now. And actually, I really like it. Below that, we have got these two frames. That one I'm probably going to change out. This one was the one I made. These are my top games in my life. So... I've stuck them all into a canvas, which I think is a really cool concept, and I'm really, really proud of that one. I moved my YouTube uh, play button to over there. It used to be in the middle here. Um, above that, we have the Bart Simpson and the Spaceman picture, and we have a weird hanging clown above it. Now, if we go onto the shelves, actually, wait, before we go into the shelves, let's just finish off with the pictures, and then I'll go into the shelves. So we have the Bellatrix wand, a little postcard, the picture that one of you guys drew, we changed this to a skull moon one and a joker one. Over here we have the uh, picture that I drew. Again, another postcard one. I didn't have a spare postcard, so I was like, I'll just draw something and stick it in there. This mirror that I actually did myself, I wrote smile on it just to remember. Jeez! And it's actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's got little paint splatters over it. So I did that myself. I was very proud of that. I'm actually a bit of an artist. A group picture. And I believe that is it for the pictures on the wall. Um, let's get into these shelves. These have changed quite a bit. Before I get into the shelves, one thing I should show you is my recent purchase. Instead of using a fan at night, I've got a little blimmin' white noise speaker, which is awesome. Just so simple. Love it. One of my best purchases. Also got a bit of piercing aftercare because um, I don't know if you guys have noticed I have got my nose pierced how do we feel about it yes or no to the nose piercing anyway time to get into the shelves so as you can see we have got many things on here now now I've tried to do a balance between my Harry Potter things and my normal things so like in here we have the traditional Harry Potter stuff but we've added like a weird brain jar a vampire um, <laughs> random cursed gingerbread a little guy here skulls a gnome Obviously, you know the Harry Potter stuff, so I'm not going to go through on that. An alien dinosaur up here. We've got some more Harry Potter stuff. And then we've added, like, little weird things, like a little dinosaur in between. And the adipose and stuff. So, yeah, really cute. I like this. It's like a mix between Harry Potter, um, my old stuff, and this. So, yeah. Anyway, over this one, we have now got the skull, which was over there, is now here. We've got a little potions area. 
We got the Fugglers, which I am now collecting because I love them. A banana goose, a snake, Harry Potter stuff. And we've got a little skull section, snake, uh, Smeagol, uh, Jack Sparrow, whatever this is. A uh, tomato ketchup, a little D20 dice, a dinosaur, just little bits and bobs, little pirate ship. But that's the shelf there. Below the shelf, we got these lights, which I got yesterday, which are little eyeball lights. By the way, my room looks awesome in the dark. I can't actually show you. I'll try and put a clip in of what my room looks like in the dark right now. So that I have like the green lights and I have like the fairy lights. And then we've got like the galaxy light above and obviously the love hearts around the top of the wardrobe. So it's really cute at night. The one reason why I've been focusing on my bedroom so much is because before it was always like a museum of things and it was sort of like my filming set. It wasn't somewhere where where I chilled and watched stuff and just chilled out really but now I absolutely love my bedroom and I could chill in here for ages and that's really really good for me because obviously I work from home and I'm in my office all the time and having a room which I love and is exactly all my loves is amazing so very very happy and the reason why I've converted it so much anyway above that we have got all my Harry Potter pops lined up um and yeah we cleared up this yesterday so it's not really that interesting this is just loads of stuff that makes me look as good as I do. Here are my pillows and my new duvet set. Look at this new duvet set. So now I've got this one and a cobweb one. So they both match the aesthetic. This is like red and black. And as you can tell, like my pictures are red and black. Um, and that is red and black. And the wardrobe is red and black. So that's like the theme. Um, also, I painted these uh, with little skulls on them. So my like, what are these called? I'm, I'm not going to say knobs. Knobs. I said it. Knobs. Also got the knobs over there as well. Okay, I need to stop saying that word. We've actually got a lot more space over here now because I've moved that from here. So that's cool. Obviously, the carpet is still a state because I've absolutely destroyed it over the 25 years I've lived here. But we have got this carpet, well, these rugs, sorry, um, and there's paint and everything on the floor. It's really bad, I know, but I'm trying to cover it with some rugs. I might get another big rug down there. Behind the TV is kind of just a bit of random stuff, like the penny board, the Sims games, and the signs, and the D&D &D books and whatnot. But yeah, I believe that is it. Look how cute this room is. This is everything that I love in a nutshell. My sister came in here the other day, and she goes... How on earth do you sleep in here? It is so chaotic. And I was like, that is the best feedback that I've ever received. And a lot of people do ask me how I sleep in here with the weird faces and the clowns and snakes staring at me. And I turn my lights off when I sleep, so I don't see anything. And I love it in here. This is this is my vibe and I love it a lot. So if you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully it was kind of short video. I wanted it to be as short as I can because I don't want to board you with another room tour video. But as you can see, I've done a lot of changes, but also not a lot of changes, does that make sense? But yeah, I love you guys so much. If there's any weird things you think will be cool in my room, send them to me, uh, hit me up on Twitter and stuff. All my links in the description down below. I love you guys, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you very, very soon for more videos. Bye.